Hey guys, so I've got the wheels off the uh, Quintana Roo and um, just feeling the, the hubs. So these are a uh, kind of traditional cup and cone and ball bearing type um, arrangement. Um, I feel a bit sort of graunchy, a bit sort of tight. Um, I'm hoping it's it's just a combination of they've been maybe slightly over adjusted on preload and the, the grease has gone a bit dry on them. So I think we need to uh, take these apart and, um, and have a good look. Let's just have a look at the front one. So actually the front one feels quite smooth, just feels very, very sticky, like really, really resistant to rotation. So I think um, these are probably just need a strip clean and some nice fresh grease. What tends to happen is the grease goes very sticky and congealed over the years um, to the extent that sometimes it can seize things like uh, gear shifters and things like that um, and um, free her bodies. So hopefully a, um, a refresh will sort them out. OK, so tools wise to, um, to strip wheels apart um, with the traditional type of bearing arrangement. First things first, really, and the, and you know on the rear wheel, but best is to take the cassette off because then you get much better access to um, the hub and the spindle. So to take the um, cassette off, you'll need a chain whip, a um, splined cassette tool. Now um, <clears throat> this is a Shimano SRAM type one. Um, they're fairly common for cassettes. This particular one's got a peg that will go through the hollow axle as well to help it locate. And then you'll need either a, a large wrench socket or a, um, you know, this particular one has got a um, half inch square drive in it. So you need that. And then once you've got the cassette off, obviously, then you need to get down into the, um, the hub, take the spindles apart. So you'll need a 17 mil spanner for the rear and a 15 millimeter cone spanner to unlock the cones and typically on the front um, they are a 13 mil on the cone um, the, the, the lock nut let's have a look um, and this particular one's got flats looks about a possibly 17 as well maybe a 15 I'll have to check so um, let's uh, let's get it all stripped apart and have a look inside. Okay, so the cassette's off. Just broken the nut. So it's always good to um, you know, have some plastic tubs or something around just to put the bits and pieces in. I normally just line them up on the bench as the, the bits come off. So let's just um, carefully wind it off. And one thing you need to take care of when you're removing the uh, spindle is that the bearings don't all fall out especially if the grease is a bit old. So um, I'll put the cone down there for a second. Let's just carefully withdraw just a little bit like that. And you can see the bearings there. So a good thing I tend to do is I'll just get a magnet, stick it in there, and you can just pull all the bearings out in one shot. And you can see they look pretty grimy, pretty disgusting. So what I'll do is I'll just um, 
get my tea strainer. Not that I use it for tea anymore, just in case you're wondering. Um, we'll dunk those into petrol, give them a wash and have a look. Um, if they look still serviceable, I might reuse them. If they're pitted or damaged in any way, it, it's cheaper and easier just to replace them. So uh, let's get the other side out and have a look, give them a clean, and we'll look at the bearing surfaces. Okay guys, so got everything apart, giving it all a good clean. Um, so there's some good news, there's some bad news, and uh, there's just some news as well. So um, the news is, uh, which is kind of unusual, um, normally these sort of bearing type hubs, typically the Shimano ones, would have quarter inch bearings in the back, three sixteenths in the front. It's fairly typical. And this particular one's a bit of a hybrid because it's got um, a mix. So on the drive side, you've got the bigger bearing, the quarter inch, and on the non drive side, you've got um, three sixteenths, albeit you have more bearings. So you've got nine on the drive side of the bigger ones and 11 on the non drive side of the smaller ones. Um, the bearings don't look too bad. Uh, and, and the good news is basically the the kind of bearing surfaces in the hub look okay. There's no sort of pitting or anything that I can see that that would hamper its its sort of use. Unfortunately, the the, the bad news is that um, on the non-drive side, the um, cone has fairly nasty pitting on it, as you can see there. So that's no good. We don't want to put that back in. So what I think I'm going to do is have a look through the spares box, try and find a replacement cone, and we'll put some new bearings in, re-grease and adjust. On the drive side, um, there's some light polishing from where the bearings have run. Uh, if I can get this in focus, there we go. Um, however, there's no pitting, so it hasn't broken through the hardened layer. So I think this is good to go again with some fresh grease. So let's get it all um, cleaned up, new cone, re-greased, back together and see how it feels. Okay guys, so managed to uh, raid the spares bin found a replacement for the um, pitted cone. So uh, the old uh, pitted cone is uh, fit for the bin. Um, managed to find one which is pretty close. Uh, put uh, new bearings in all round as well. Fresh grease. So um, tend to use this um, camper grease which is um, specifically for sort of bearings, cables and general assembly. Um, it's nice and thick and sticky, but um, it uh, seems to be my grease of choice at the moment. We'll put that together. Um, it's important when you um, reassemble these that you take time to to adjust the, the cone load. Cause you want it just so you can just sort of start to feel the bearings drag, but um, there's no play. So I've got it feeling pretty good now that sort of feels even the, the contact all the way around and um, it feels pretty smooth considering how bad it was these are never going to feel as silky smooth as a highly polished high-end uh, cup and cone type um, um, bearing system or a uh, seal cartridge but it does feel pretty good and will probably with, with time sort of bed in a little bit. So um, let's put everything back together and um, carry on with the front wheel. I'll probably go through the same exercise and uh, then we'll see you on the other side and I'll put the bike back together. Cheers. <laughs> 